YouTube, my name's Lance and welcome to Bundy Bear's Shed. Well actually today we're in Bundy Bear's pool room. If I swing you around a bit here, this is where we dine, have our pool, play a game of pool, cook outside, we have a nice fireplace in the corner, we have a barbecue over there, but today we're going to be over here on top of the pig. Now the pig if I bring it down there, the pig is a little cooker I made one time. We put a fire in there, I've, I've made a little spit that we can fit up onto the top of it and that's where we do our cooking. When we, when we like to cook a camp oven, a camp oven roast and, and things like that. So, But look, what we're doing out here today is, I'll bring you around there a little bit, is the girls decided they'd like to distill a little bit of rosemary oil. and. Um, we have a heap of rosemary outside and Adele's out there picking some now and what the, the go will be is we put it in this still that I used to make a bit of grog in, a bit of moonshine and th that's not a bad thing but um, uh, what it is, it's, it's a 25 litre stainless steel pot and in the bottom there's a, an electric element and that boils the water and when you make alcohol, you put your wash in there and it boils it up and, and it comes through the, the, through the still, um, which is this piece here, and that um, draws the alcohol out. So this is a, this is a bought pot um, with a bought top. You can buy that from grog shops. This still, this piece up here, um, that's homemade. And what happens is that the, the steam goes up in through here. Might have a bit of car noise because we're up near the road up here, but um, the steam comes up here there's a little hole in there for it to go out. Um, it goes around the coils. Um, in the meantime, we have water coming in the bottom and we can adjust that with this little tap, going out the top off into the garden somewhere. Once it's cooled down, we just run a bit of hose to let it cool down. And then what used to happen with the alcohol is the alcohol would drip out here. And we have a thermometer up the top there so we could actually see the temperature that the alcohol was coming out. But the thermometer is not such an important thing as it turns out. Um, what we worked out when doing the alcohol was if you had any steam coming out this pipe at all you were wasting your alcohol. Um, the alcohol was in the vapour, in the steam vapour, and it would just vapour off into the air and you would get none. So you had to just judge it by eye and if you saw it steaming a little bit it was too much. Yet when the alcohol in the water, or the alcohol come out of the tube here, um, it, it was warm, so there was a bit of a fine line. The thermometer told us at what temperature we could do it, and this still, when we made it with the stainless steel coils and all inside, we just got very lucky. It, it pulls out alcohol at 96% pure. Um, we've never done making oil before. We don't know what we're doing. Um, we've looked at a few YouTube clips, and we've learned from them, or we're using what we saw on them, just to try and um, do a bit of a run for ourselves. So we'll get the whole thing set up. At the moment I've got so much water in, I've got a cup sitting in there and I've got a, um, uh, I've got a, a frame that we put heat beads on when cooking a, a camp oven or a Dutch oven. Um, and that gives us a level and we're going to fill the whole rest up with rosemary leaves and stems and stalks and things like that. And we'll crank it up. We'll hook the hoses up here, we'll block the little top off. I might put the thermometer in, um, it'll give us a guide, not that it's probably going to mean much to us, but it'll give us a bit of a guide and we'll just go through some of the setup and that way we've documented what we've done. If it works, we've documented it. If it doesn't work, well we can look back over time and, and get opinions from other people on, on what we could have done differently to get a better outcome. So anyway, stay tuned, we'll, we'll give this our best shot and um, yeah, we'll just go from there, see what sort of mischief we can get up to. This is our rosemary bush and it looks a bit wild and woolly, but um, yeah, we're going to try and harvest all the leaves. There's plenty of them in there, it's a very fine, very fine sort of leaf. And we're going to harvest them, put them into the still and see if we can make a little bit of oil out of them. Right, this is where we're going to have a go at it. The, um, the thing right in front of you looking at you, that's a pig. 
And we use that for cooking, you know, when we do outside barbecues and put camp ovens on it and things, and the, the still is actually the piece on top of it. And if we go up to it and have a look, it's a big stainless steel pot with... Oh, I'll try and not have that hit. With a heating element inside of it. And it's run by electricity through this fella here. And so what the plan is today is we have a cup in there that's going to set a water level for us. We're going to put this frame in. That frame sits down the bottom. Now what that frame normally does is it's for heat beads when you're cooking a camp oven. But in this instance, this is what we're going to sit all our crop on top of and let it steam all through. So we'll set up and just see what we can come up with. Oh, we've put water in there now and the water is just under that grid there. So that should form steam. The bottom part of the rosemary might get just a bit damp, but anything above there, the steam should come up through and hopefully we can catch it and put it through the still and pull a bit of oil out. Well, we've got it going here. We've got five litres of water in the bottom. We've got a hose coming in here. Now that comes, that's dam water that comes from the tank up the back. So it comes down through here, through the condenser up here, and then it comes down here, out through to the trees behind. It's just a water, it's dam water that we're using, but we always have, it's in there, it's no worries. From five litres to full, We've absolutely jam-packed as much of this stuff and this is the rosemary leaves and sticks and twigs and all that and it makes your hands quite sticky. You can see the colour on your fingers from the oil and that takes a bit of washing off. And So anyway, once this boils, the steam will go up through here into the condenser. We'll turn the tap on here and cool the oil water mix down a, a little bit and we should be able to get a, a bit of a sample out through this hose here into this old flag. And so. We'll see, we'll drain it away. We, we've never done it before, so we're in having a go. So we'll just, yeah, <laughs> we'll just see what comes of it, eh? You can see on the bottle here, we've got a little bit of fluid coming out. There's no steam there at all. It's just a fluid, which is what we want. That's a little bit of an oily fluid too. That's also what we want. So that's running through. The thermometer on top of the, up here, I'll see if I can get it. The thermometer seems to work best when sitting on 95. That's on our still. So I'll lower this down again. Try and get a bit of reflection away. So you can see what's happening. Well, it's running in. The blankets around the still. The old steam boilers years ago used to have wood around them so that the, all the heat was used. So we've just wrapped an old electric blanket and that around it just to try and just to try and maintain the heat in there. And if I can get you around the back there and hone in, that's the amount of water that's trickling through the still to keep it at 95 degrees at present. Um, having a garden hose as the sun comes out that changes but that's a little tittle that just goes down and waters the garden. So we'll bring you back to here, zoom back out. And that's all we have to show you just at the moment. There we go, we've changed the pot away and we've put a smaller vase there so we can see how we're going and that there is about an hour probably a little bit over an hour's run so it looks like there's quite a, quite a bit of oil in the rosemary anyway we'll keep it going see how it comes along for us that's a bit of an idea of the oil content in this vase. The vase gets quite skinny so it, um, it puts a thicker line but I'll just let you watch that for a little bit.
that's with the thermometer on top of my still at 97 degrees. So it needs to be 96 or 97. If we go to 98, it seems to steam off. So, but yeah, hopefully we'll let that sit after we've finished and the oil will clear up. It, it only got cloudy once we put a bit of steam down in through it. So it'll probably settle out again, I'd say. A little jar. Um, the little jar worked out being 220, oh, sorry, 22 millilitres of oil, and we found that once the once the first 20 minutes, I'll oh, probably make that 40 minutes, went by, um, you still got some oil, but you just didn't get the quantity of oil. So when we sneak over to the table there and have a look at this vase here well once that vase once that vase there was full and th we had oil up to about here um, once that was full we thought we'd just let it run and let it run in this bottle once more um, just to see what was happening but we found that in that second bottle, even though there is a little bit of oil in there, there's, um, there's very little oil content there. I'll try and... Yeah, there's just not much at all there. So, so we found that, yeah, the first, first part of the process, first 45 minutes, perhaps an hour and a quarter sort of thing, that's when all the oil come. Now, to get the oil out, what we did, we... We suck the oil off the top of this like that. Then you can see a little bubble of water in the bottom. Uh, we just kept letting it dribble back into the flask here until there was no, no more water bubble under the oil. And, and that there has given us a very pure looking bottle of oil. It's very clear. Anyway, 220 millimetres, millilitres and that's all over, that's what we have left. That's quite hot still. But, um, yeah, I suppose we'll use that as compost now. Well, that's the process over for the day. That's our little booty. So, 22 mils, it's an easy process to do. Um, yeah, there's probably, well, with five litres of water in there, there's probably around 15 litres bulk of leaves, the rest of the bucket. And that produced 22 mils, but most of it did come out in the first first probably hour, 45 minutes to an hour and a quarter sort of thing. After that, even though we had fluid coming out, we've got that settled in a separate bottle and there's, um, there's just not much oil in it anymore. But um, we're gonna keep that, Jude's gonna spray the chooks with it, I think she's telling me. So anyway, thanks for watching and we'll catch you later.